What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel Sports Life and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, and I'm here for the news. And here recently, there's been an explosion of this thing called the manosphere. Uh, another name for it is MGTOW, men going their own way. They also call it red pill. What I call it is a bunch of wacky ass men piss moaning, piss moaning and complaining like women. Over and over again. A lot of these things that they say about women, they are true. There is a price to be paid for some of the things that women are doing, but they're already paying that price. The woman who's in my age range, 35 to 45, they're already paying the younger women. They're not getting married and having kids no more. They're already paying the ultimate price. Men do not have to get on the internet and complain and blame women for everything that goes wrong in their lives when it comes to relationships. A lot of men's problems are self-inflicted wounds. You can't get married four times and then blame the woman. You can't have four or five different baby mamas and then blame the woman. A lot of times you have to look in the mirror. Sometimes, yes, there are occasions where a man meets a woman. She was perfectly fine. Everything was great. There was nothing wrong with her. There was no red flags. There was nothing. And then she totally flipped the script. Yes, that's called the exception, not the rule. And over here, I don't deal in exceptions. I don't deal in the one out of 10,000. I don't deal in that bullshit. The Negroes, both male and female, indulge in that way too much. Well, I know, remember that one time. Well, this one lady, she she actually got married on the third time. And the fourth time, that's, our dude, I, don't, I actually got married. And the fourth time, it worked out perfectly great with the lady. And I'm, man, no, that's not normally how it works. You don't get four women pregnant in the fifth one. That's just perfect. No, it's a you problem nine times out of ten. And like I said before in another video, if the woman is the weak, weaker vessel and the man is the world builder and the man is the natural leader, then he has to take majority of the blame. Like I said, I'm not saying motherfuckers is wrong about what they're saying about women. I'm saying... They're wrong for complaining about it nonstop. There is no perfect woman, no perfect relationship. You have the choice and you have the option to, to, to leave out of that situation if you want to. And you also have to do a better job of interviewing and vetting women before getting yourself naked. Because what then happened was, all of a sudden, people coming into these situations, they're not asking the women no question. They just hopping right in bed. And then get mad when the shit goes terribly wrong. Oh, she's crazy. Well, you should have asked her. Are you crazy? <laughs> Flat out. How many people have you slept with? What happened with your last man? Who are you? What kind of person are you? What's your belief system? You believe in feminism? Before you try to get that person naked, you have to ask all these questions. Now, if you're looking for just a one night stand and you know you're going to move on quickly, I understand. But I'm talking about the guys who are complaining about the women that's in these relationships because that's the biggest complaint because nobody wants to spend the rest of their lives alone. Nobody. That's bullshit. Nobody wants to be surrounded by cats and our dogs in their life at all whatsoever. But let's go over some of these clips and see what's said in some of these clips. Let's take a look. I'm going to tell you why many women didn't like Kevin Sanders and even celebrated that man's death. He put career women into their place. He told boss bitches about themselves. He bought back. Well, number one, Kevin Samuel had a fantastic channel. It was very entertaining to hear the interviews and the conversations going back and forth between Kevin Samuels and the woman. But Kevin Samuels didn't change nothing. Those women were already fucked. They were already screwed. Most of them are already were dog moms, a.k.a. cat ladies. All he did was call it out which was very entertaining. But Kevin Samuels was a former simp who turned himself into what they would call a masculine high value man. That's what he was calling it. But in general, he did not change anything for the woman at all. All of them women were headed down the road. They knew that's why they were calling in. They already knew. I don't have a man. They already didn't have a man before they ever got online with Kevin Samuels. Period, point blank. So did Kevin Samuels change anything? Absolutely not. They have a saying, it's got to be in you, not on you. Kevin Samuels was a former simp 
who let women get away with a lot of things and all of a sudden he changed his life and changed his world and then he started to dictate terms but that ain't who he truly was whatsoever whatsoever and these things have just gotten ridiculous some of the things that's being said let's take a look overweight women from their delusion and gave them a reality check but the thing that's the most disturbing to these women is that he told millions and millions of men on how to see through a woman's bs on how to see through her manipulation tactics and what to do about it so how can we fault this man for telling so many men how to do better for themselves now, if all of those men did not know, and I will say this, a lot of men did not know, you know, what was going on. But a lot of people, we can see, when you're in a relationship, you can see this shit is not, you know, this is not how it's supposed to be. It's always so many red flags, you guys, that we ignore as men and women. And you let that shit slide and you let that shit go. And then you be in these predicaments complaining. That's my biggest problem. They're in these predicaments complaining about situations that they put themselves in. Let's take a look at this next clip. She should be in jail for this. She put a fake robbery charge on me. She said that I, I robbed her, mugged her, and took her credit card. Wow. The U.S. Marshals came to my home. I was with my daughter. I was off work. They kicked my door down, took me to jail, and I had to call someone to come get my daughter. Posted my bond, 200000 I didn't want to keep missing work. So I posted ten thousand dollar bond. Uh, I I ended up losing my job anyway because they got a hold of the information said that I was locked up for robbery. Now you might say that's terrible. That should never happen to him. I guarantee you this. As batshit crazy as that lady lady is, and as wrong as she was for doing this, and believe me, this bitch she she was dead wrong. He was even more wrong for dealing with her. That lady, I guarantee you, throughout that. However long that relationship was, showed all type of signs of instability. And I guarantee you, when he met her, he never vetted her properly. He never asked her the proper questions to see, is this the type of lady I want to deal with? And I guarantee you another thing, he was not brutally honest with that lady. Work, so I posted ten thousand dollar bond. Uh, I, I ended up losing my job anyway because they got a hold of the information said that I was locked up for robbery, filing false false plea. Why did you do this? Did you do this? I know. I'm glad you got an anchor because he played with me. Now, as you can look at this woman, you can tell this woman is one of those attitude wag they fingers, hand on the hip, full of attitude. She a hit a man. She a try to fight on a man. She'll bust out a car window. She'll flatten the tire. And like I said, man, my stepdad gave me some of the greatest game ever, which was true players know when to keep their penis in their pants, man. Know when to keep your dick in your pants. Have some dick discipline, man. Every time you meet a woman, you don't have to try to get naked. Seriously, because a lot of times when this shit goes terribly wrong, everybody will look at her and say she's the problem. No, she was a problem before she ever showed up. She was who she was before she ever showed up with that dick. But he chose to deal with her, have sex with her, play with the lady, play with a crazy person. Nobody knows. You know damn well you don't play with crazy people. Because when you do, you, <laughs> you get crazy prices. Anyway, because they got a hold of the information said that I was locked up for robbery. Filing false, false plea. Why did you do this? Did you do this? I'm glad you got an anchor because he played with me for a long time for a year. You should kept it real with me. And like the lady said, he played with her for a long time. He probably had different women. And I've said this before. A lot of this shit falls on black men. They say 20% of the men are sleeping with 80% of the women. That means the small percentage of men who getting all of the motherfucking who getting all of the pussy they have to be honest and say i'm a coxman i'm slinging that thing and i'm not gonna be faithful from the very jump that will save you a lot of heart a lot of a lot of heartache honesty is the best policy with these type of people but he should have knew from the beginning i can't deal with this lady i should have told her from the beginning hey baby you ain't my cup of tea i'm out of here uh, hey baby i you talked to her on the phone a couple of times said this motherfucker's crazy i'm gone Take a look at this. This shit here is wacky as hell. (laughs) 
They got a whole ass suit. Unbelievable. And you put some t-shirt, you put a t-shirt and some shorts and shit over that, man. You couldn't tell the difference. Let me look at that one more time. Look what the hell is going on? No. What? What in the nutty professor is going on out here? You wouldn't know to put the jeans and shit on top of that, some of them shorts, you man. You don't know what you're getting no more out here, man. Shit's getting wackier and wackier, man. I mean, some of these things have just went completely left. Let's take a look at this. He agreed to share his wife. Now, is that uncommon? Nah, that happens. They have these people called swingers who swing and they share their wives. So it's not uncommon. Is it the manliest thing to do? Absolutely not. Do I agree with somebody doing it? No. But do I care if another man chooses to do that type of shit? I, have, I, I can care less. But, you know, he's an open simp. Some people are hiding. They're trying to hide they simping. He just completely just then came on out. Let's take a look. My question is the same as your question probably is. Are them two dudes, are they busting it open for each other? Cause that sounds mighty strange. Yeah, my Negro spidey senses are tingling like a motherfucker. I don't know. That's extremely odd. He ain't, this is going beyond swinging. This is jumping all the way to the other tree. Yeah, uh-uh. That's a, oh, no. I heard of sharing your wife. I had met and fallen for another guy. So I came back and reported that to Finally came into the bow of understanding about feminine, you know, expression. Realized you have to allow women to be free and express themselves. And as a man, I can really support her in doing that. Well, obviously them two dudes, they fucking too. I, look, I, there's no other way to slice that. That is about as wacky as it can get. Let's take a look at this. How toxic women argue. <laughs> uh, people argue in every relationship, even the, even good ones. You shouldn't be arguing all the time. Your relationship not should not be a non-stop argument. But there are going to be arguments within relationship it, relationships, and the tactic, tactics that are used within arguments are pretty universal at this point. Let's take a look. No, 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 no. That's that's not. What I, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. But that's not what I said. You're misquoting me. You're misquoting me. If you're gonna quote me. You need to do so correctly. What I said. What I said was. Now, <laughs> I don't give a damn. How great you are in a relationship. Every man, especially Negro man, has dealt with this. I would imagine men across the board, they deal with this within arguments. The hand folding, the hand gestures, all of these type of things. Because they can't physically whoop you. So they have to use different expressions. They have to cut in different ways. And they're going to do that. The crossing the arms, the dismissive listening, the, the agreeing without really agreeing. All of those tactics women use. And it's nothing new. I don't know what you want to say. I get it. Okay, I understand. Oh, I get it. When a woman says that, that she knows she's wrong, but she doesn't want to admit it. She hates that that she's wrong, but when you have a good woman, she'll apologize in another way. She'll apologize. She'll go in there and cook you a fantastic meal, or she'll go to the store and buy you a six pack, or you'll look online and you got a Jordan jumpsuit coming in the mail, or she'll call you and say, baby, I got some tickets. Let's go to Vegas. It'll be some shit like that when you got a good woman. Everybody's not great. With apologizing, with words, some people apologize through actions. Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay, but you do the exact same thing. No, it's not about oh, super tight. It's the fact that you have the audacity oh, to come to me about... Let me say this. Sometimes in these arguments, women say things that maybe you don't want to hear. Well, sometimes they be true. Not always. <laughs> Believe me, not always. But there are times there's things as men that we need to hear. 
from time to time. That's why I said I don't want to just sit around and just bash women all day, every day. Like men are just perfect beings that's walking across the planet Earth. We not. We fuck up. We make mistakes. We lie. Sometimes we can be deceitful. Sometimes we can be selfish and arrogant. You know, and sometimes we have to hear that shit. And you know what you have to say is, man, you right. Every once in a while, you have to also say, baby, you right. Now, a lot of times, <laughs> like I said, they're not going to want to apologize in the moment when they're wrong. But if you have a good one, she'll find a way to apologize in her own way. And as a man, when you know your woman, you can accept that apology wholeheartedly. As long as she ain't went over the top, you know, cutting tires and bleaching clothes or, you know what I mean, that that real toxic shit. But just in an argument, she might have said something or called you a name or some shit. But, you know, she knows she wrong or she just have to eat it. When she when she's a decent human being and a good woman, she'll, she'll find her own way to apologize. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty normal. That's powerful, of course. There ain't a Negro on the planet that ain't went through that. Let's look at this. She married herself and this happened. This woman married herself, but decided to get divorced. Well, let me tell you this. First and foremost, this lady's a Luciferian. She practices witchcraft. You might say, Sam, how do you know? I can fucking tell. First, she had on all white. The next video, she has on all black. She has the whole Luciferian witchcraft look on her. Look at her. This woman married her. And not only that, if you look on her right arm, she has the serpent wrapped around her arm. That's another sign that these people are into witchcraft. A lot of these people worship Adam and Eve. In the Bible, Adam and Eve are not heroes. They are not. They was cast out of heaven. So a lot of these people do worship Eve as a mother, as a mother goddess. They had a snake with an apple, a serpent wrapped around their arm, and that's who they adhere to. Believe it or not, I go over this shit time and time again. But obviously, as you can see, this lady's batshit crazy. Is into all type of different philosophies and all type of different uh, uh, worship of different gods and deities. As you can, you just look at her and tell. I guarantee, if you went on this lady's Facebook page or Instagram or TikTok or whatever, you will see all type of adherences to worshiping uh, energy stones and uh, uh, astrological signs and it just will get wacky and wacky because the woman married herself and divorced herself after a day this is all for attention but you know herself but decided to get divorced 24 hours later after marrying herself and spending just one day in her own company sophie moore has considered divorce the woman announced her wedding on twitter today in the most spurious moments of my life I bought a wedding dress and cooked a wedding cake to marry myself. The next day Sophie got tired of marriage and announced that divorce was imminent. Update. One day I'm married to myself and I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Some things are getting wackier and wackier, you guys. <laughs> but obviously that's for attention and she got a little bit of attention, so good for her. So I don't understand why you tripping. Because you always want me to cook for you 24-7. Okay, but you my girl. You supposed to cook for me. See, and this is where the man gets weak at. I don't like this shit going, you supposed to cook for me. You know what you do? Is all of a sudden you disappear for hours on a day. The motherfucker say, where was you at? I was eating. You not cooking? I'm going to find some food somehow, some way. You be real vague. You leave the information open-ended and you make it like maybe I went to a restaurant and maybe I went to old lady, to some other lady's house and got something to eat. You leave that shit open-ended. The last thing you do is just keep begging somebody to cook for you. Either the woman wants to or she doesn't. But if you make these things a strict standard when you first met her, 99% of the time you won't even have these problems. I work! Okay, but you were off today. Look, it's about to be 2021. If you want a girl that's gonna be cooking for you all the time, you need to go find Man, this video is great because it's basically simple as that. You'd be surprised how, even if the lady don't know how to cook, she'd be on YouTube channel watching AB Grilling, trying to figure out how to make some kind of goddamn shrimp pasta for your ass, or some kind of chicken Alfredo. Period, point blank. But men have, this is how quick foreign women are ready to get in and feed your man. That's a lie. You don't have to get no foreign woman. There's plenty of women right here ready to feed you. Period, point blank. That's something that, you know, that's happening, period, point blank. 
Let's take a look at this. One thing you never told your ex. Now, they get these young girls out here, and obviously these young women don't understand that your body count matters to you, not to other people. This is how I know for a fact that women care about their body count a lot more than what they lead on. Because what happens as they get older, they realize that having sex with all those different men did nothing for them. It actually hurt them psychologically. Because the first thing they do is start lying. Well, he don't count. He only ate it. He don't count. He was ugly. He don't count. She only lasted one minute. He don't count. So they start miscounting. Anytime you have to start miscounting and lying to yourself, there's no worse person in the, on the planet to lie to than yourself. You're basically a dead bird in tall grass. You lost. You never, ever, 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 ever want to spend time lying to yourself. And women have to do that when they have high body counts. Because all of these different men are shooting spirits in you, which is semen, which is actually life. We all were once a piece of semen. So when these people are putting these spirits in you, you have all these different spirits and energies on you. So when you do get a good man, you'll run him off. Because you're so used to losing, you don't know when you win it. You whacked out of your mind. And that's for the man. Usually it's for the man to try to vet that and get you out of there. But these, a lot of these men, they're not vetting that shit. That lady got a big ass, some nice breasts, and she's built right. He's putting up with all type of shenanigans. But it does matter as a woman body count. Women, young girls should have to try to keep their body count as low as possible for their own mental health. But if they don't, guess who has to pay? They do. I don't have to bash and step on a drowning person's head. That's sadistic. If a person's drowning, I know they go drown and I stick my foot out there to help them drown faster. I'm just as demonic as, as, as any other demon who's walking the planet. That's sick. One thing you never told your ass. It's friend. She ain't before. And sleeping with people's friends and shit, that's, that's pretty normal and powerful, of course, for a lot of these young ladies, unfortunately. They see what their little friend's relationship, they might get envious, and as soon as they get that guy alone, they gonna go ahead and jump in the sheets and have sex with him. And for the Negro, a lot of times, this is how babies come about. <laughs> a lot of us are here <laughs> because, because of these type of shenanigans. And it's unfortunate because you can't raise a kid with two people who never was supposed to be together, be together never wanted to be together, be together, never tried to be together. So she just said she had sex with the man's sister. I mean, you see how low and deplorable some of this shit is getting. A lot of these people don't have any foundation, a, 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 a belief in God or anything at all. Because when you do these type of things, you have to justify it in your own mind. So that lady says she had sex with his dad. The other one says she had sex with his baby mom. These people are out here doing anything. And that's why I say it's incumbent upon the man to vet these people. This man is a stranger asking these people. This proves my whole video. A stranger is getting all the information out of this lady. When you first meet the lady, you are a stranger to her. Ask all the questions on the planet. There's no, y'all ain't together. Get a few shots of tequila in there and start asking the tough questions. <laughs> These people ain't ex-CIA where they can hold all this goddamn information and keep it from you. And, man, they can't do all that shit. Yeah, you start asking real questions and people gonna start fumbling and bumbling and they're gonna start telling the truth. Period, point blank. They got a stranger asking them questions and they're they're spilling the beans all over the floor. She had an abortion with his baby and his brother's baby. I mean, and she's laughing while she's obviously inebriated slash intoxicated. But nothing was funny about what's funny about that shit. There's not, I can't find one thing that you would find funny that you would have an abortion with his baby and his brother's baby. Bitch, you are sick. And the brother of that man is even sicker. 
for dealing with these type of people. But when you play these type of games, you get the prizes you deserve. When you play these, when you don't have any discipline with your penis, you get everything that's coming to you as a man. Listen to these young ladies. These young ladies all over the place. These are stable creatures. The dude was exacerbated. He said, oh, you got to be. You said, what? God damn. Now, this is a stranger who's getting all the information that you could have got. These same guys could have got the same information for the woman if they would have asked these women some questions. He cheated on me with her. I found out we had words, and then I went to her house the night with her, and then we had sex. I mean, some of these things are just ridiculous at this point, you guys. It really is. It's low down. It's trifling. But as a man, do you want to have a baby by a woman like that? No. How do you prevent from having a baby like that? By vetting. By simply asking a few questions. And you can get to the bottom of a lot of shit extremely fast. Instead of getting online, piss moaning and complaining. You don't have to do that. You don't have to beg people to cook for you. You don't have to beg for none of that shit. These women have to pay for all their sins. Just like as a man, you have to pay for yours. There's no doubt about it. Down the road, all they will live with is a bunch of regret of sleeping with a bunch of men who they had really no connection with. Men and women sleeping around is totally different. Men can sleep without emotions and feelings. Women are filled with estrogen and all type of feelings and emotions. So that shit will get the best of them down the line. There's no doubt about that shit. That's why they have to lie to themselves. They try to miscount their numbers as they get older in life. But I just want to go over those few clips of the manosphere slash MGTOW slash red pill slash just a bunch of pussy ass niggas complaining. This has been Sports Life Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel. I'm here for the news. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. True players know when to keep their dick in their pants right. Peace.